great question and and yes they are all very similar but each come with their their own set of rules and circumstances we actually did a video last week on what an ice are instagram feed but dealing with the other two this week let's start with a, a lisa so a, a lisa or lifetime isa is essentially an isa account that has the added benefit of a government top up so what that means is that for for every four pounds that you put into a lisa the government will put one pound in for you as well up to a maximum of five thousand pounds so you would put four thousand pounds in and the government would put one thousand pounds in for you um how do they sit alongside ice as well so you could have an isa and a LISA. And the way to think about that is that up to a maximum of £20,000, you could have £5,000 as your LISA allocation and £15,000 as your ISA allocation up to a maximum of 20. Both have exactly the same um, tax treatment and investment rules and investment options, but the LISA does come with a set of its own rules on top. The proceeds or investments or savings within a LISA account can only be used for to fund a first time property purchase or during retirement. So as, as a second or, or, or as a pension account and any withdrawal from your LISA account for an additional reason to use the money for something else would result in a withdrawal of the government top up. And now you need to be careful here because if if the government 20 percent of your LISA has grown over the years, they will take 20 percent of your LISA back, not just the one thousand pounds that they put in. So be very careful on that. Turning to JISAs, a JISA is essentially a, an ISA account, but for, for children under the age of 18. Um, they, they can contribute up to £9,000 a year rather than £20,000 a year. And normally we see JISA accounts opened by parents, grandparents, or even godparents these days who want to create a tax efficient savings pot for, for children. One thing to bear in mind with JISA accounts is that eight, at age 18, the account legally becomes the, um, the property of, of the child it was invested for. Um, so you need to have a conversation with them ahead of their 18th birthday about what the funds are for or dive on the doormat to make sure you get that letter first. But at age 18, the, le the money legally becomes theirs. They haven't got to withdraw it, although they can. Um, they can switch it to a, a full adult ISA and then they will benefit from the extra £11,000 of annual ISA allowance that they afforded to them as an adult aged 18.